Ann Mulkey, Director of Global Trade Content at Integration Point, and this is your Straight to the Point update for August 13, 2018. We have seen no slowdown in changing global trade activities this past week that importers need to stay on top of. Most impactful in the United States has been the August 23rd effective date on the second set of 301 25% tariffs on Chinese goods. The additional Duty on goods from Turkey was also a surprise last Friday, and we'll go into details in just a minute. But other actions in China, India, and other regions of the world are keeping the world's global traders very busy as well. Here are the highlights from the week of August 10th. The U.S. imposes additional retaliatory duties on China 301 goods. This second list under Section 301 impacts 409 additional tariff numbers with a 25% additional duty rate. This becomes effective on August 23rd. The chapters that are impacted range from Chapter 27 to Chapter 90 and cover goods like chemical products, plastics, glass and glassware, iron or steel, aluminum, industrial machinery, vehicles, aircraft, and vessels, as well as other measuring, checking, and precision equipment. With this second list already approved, and if the third list goes as proposed, only 15 chapters from the 97 chapters of the USHTS would be out of this additional duty measure. Just a reminder on the third list for Section 301. On August 1st, 2018, the Trade Representative announced that the President had directed the Trade Representative to consider raising the level of additional duty in the proposed supplemental action from 10% to 25%. In light of this possible increase in the rate of additional duty, the Trade Representative is extending certain comment periods. This list does impact over 9,500 HTS numbers, and it practically impacts all chapters. August 13th will be the due date for filing a request to appear at the public hearing. The scheduled start date of the Section 301 hearing has not changed and will remain August 20th. The Section 301 committee may extend the length of the hearing depending on the number of additional interested persons who request to appear. September 6th will be the due date for the submission of written comments as well as the submission for post-hearing rebuttal comments. On Friday, there was also some breaking news. President Trump announced that he would be doubling the steel and aluminum additional duties for goods from Turkey, and that would become effective today. While his announcement on Twitter mentioned both steel and aluminum, the presidential proclamation that was released only showed an increase in steel from 25 to 50 percent. This also created a new Chapter 99 number specifically for steel imported from Turkey, which is 9903800. dollars Not only was the U.S. busy, but goods imported into India from the U.S. will no longer be able to use the concessional main rates. The retaliatory duty is levied upon 18 subheading and includes 30 declarable HS codes from the following chapters, 5, 7, 28, 38, 72, 73 and 08. These 29 U.S. products include items like almonds and apples and phosphoric acid. This will become effective on September the 18th. China also announced retaliatory tariffs on 60 billion worth of U.S. goods. China has decided to impose an additional 25 percent duty on 333 tariff items which will affect the trade volume of approximately 16 billion U.S. dollars. The impacted chapters range from Chapter 23 all the way to Chapter 90 and will also be effective on August 23rd. As always, in an environment where global regulations change this quickly, it is important for all companies to continue to monitor and stay up to date with the countries that they import into and export out of. Global Trade Content monitors and updates tariff schedules for over 205 countries and territories on a daily basis. 
We will continue to monitor these ongoing regulation changes as they take place and will provide regular updates for our straight to the point videos. As always, thanks for listening.